Hello everyone, the Bohr division of resonance is back again with a new video tutorial. I am SDS sir, faculty of English and today we will take up a chapter from Vistas and the topic for today is the third level written by Jack Finney. Friends, what do you mean by the term third level? What is the third level? The third level is a strange world that lies between dreams, desires and reality. So, first a person dreams, then he desires ki such a thing should be there and then he tries to make it into a reality. So, this chapter is something related to time travel. So, it is a psychological story revolves around the time travel and the protagonist of this chapter, Charlie, reached somewhere into the past in 1890s. This chapter refers to the subway at the Grand Central Railway Station, which takes passengers to Galesburg, Illinois in the year 1894 in the past. This subway becomes the interconnection between the narrator's harsh reality and fantasy. In this chapter, the author has left everything for the readers to decide whether it happened in reality or it was just a fantasy. And this chapter also shows the intersection of time and space. Yes, friends, yes, there is intersection of time and space somewhere. So, let us start the summary. As per the railway timetable of the Grand Central Station, there were only two levels at the Grand Central Station in New York, but Charlie says that there were three levels at the Grand Central Station and he talks about his experience as to how he reached there. Charlie one day was late at work in his office, so he decided to take a train to reach home where his wife Louisa would be waiting for him. So, rather than the bus which is slower, he decided to take the train. So, he went to the Grand Central Station. He reached the first level from where the fast trains like the 20th century went. He walked down some more flight of stairs and he reached the second, he went, he wanted to take the train from the second level that is from where the suburban train used to leave. He walked down the stairs, he came across a small tunnel, he ducked in and he started walking over there and suddenly he realized that he has lost his way inside that tunnel. This was nothing unusual for Charlie because ample of times, many times, Kafi bar he had lost his way at this Grand Central Station because there was many exits and entrances and many a times he used to come out from the different exits and so on. Once he came out of a block in a building three blocks away from the station, once he came out in the lobby of the hotel Roosevelt and so on. So, he kept on walking and he realized that he has lost his way. After some time, he just realized that the tunnel is about to open. He heard some sounds, the noises of people coming from outside and for a split second, he just thought that he has reached or come out on the third level, but suddenly Charlie noticed that everything over there was totally different. The scene over there at the level was something like that of the past, something like that of the 1890s. It was old fashioned as he has reached in 1890s, this is what he realized. What are the changes he saw? The dressing sense of the people was totally, totally different and he had never seen people with so many big beards, big, big moustaches and big sideburns. So, these were the changes he saw and all this thing made him think that he has reached somewhere in 1890 because this is the fashion or style which prevailed in the past in the 1890s and he saw various changes also. He just saw that the furniture was old style, the locomotive, the engine was also old one, the brass patents and the glass lights also belong to the previous century. This is what he realized. To make sure, he went to a newspaper stall and he saw the paper name the world. 
which was out of publication in the present time and he saw the date of the newspaper. The date was 18th July 1894, sorry 11th June 1894. This is what he saw. So, now he came to know that he has reached in the year 1894, the date is 11th June remember over here. When he reached, so now he understood that he has reached the third level from where he could take a train to Galesburg, Illinois, a place where he had spent his childhood along with his grandfather. And when he reached this third level, he just asked, went to the ticket office and asked for the fare. The booking clerk told him the fare as to how much is the amount and he wanted to go to this place along with his wife Louisa over. Though Galesburg, Illinois in 1890s was a very, very peaceful place. It had old big frame houses, huge lawns and the people over there had a relaxable time. The men in the evening smoked cigars and the women over there would wave the palm fans. And this place was far, far away from the destructions of the two world wars. This Galesburg, Illinois 1894 was 20 years away from the destructions of the first world war and 40 years away from the destruction of the second world war. And Charlie now wanted to go to this peaceful place. He asked for the ticket fare, the, cal the clerk calculated the fare and Charlie had enough money to buy two single tickets. So, he gave those dollars that currency to the ticket clerk and the ticket clerk threatened Charlie because the currency which Charlie gave belonged to the present time which did not exist during the past. So, the clerk just told him if you try to cheat me you will get arrested. So, Charlie now saw yes the currency which he had was totally different from the currency which was there in the cash box and Charlie made a quick exit from there because even though 1894 was a peaceful place, he did not want to go to jail even in 1894. And as per Charlie, he came out from the same way he had entered the third level. Next day, Charlie withdrew all his savings around 300 dollars and in exchange, he got currency worth 200 dollars of the old type. But Charlie did not mind paying this extra money because things were very, very cheap, very, very cheap in the 1890s. So, he did not mind paying this extra. Now, he went to the Grand Central Station and he searched for the third level, but he was unsuccessful. He could not find the third level at the Grand Central Station on that particular day. Charlie told about this entire experience to his psychiatrist friend. When he told about this, this also worried his wife as well as the psychiatrist friend. And this psychiatrist friend of Charlie told him that it is a waking dream wish fulfillment. You are a daydreamer. You cannot cope up in this fast paced world which is full of tension, miseries and so on. And he just told him that it is he is just hallucinating and he wants a refuge, a shelter. He is an escapist that tum is dunya ka samna nahi kar sakte ho and you want to run away into the world of the past. This is what was told by this psychiatrist friend that this modern world is full of worries, miseries, sufferings, wars and so on and you want to escape. And he also told him that your hobby of collecting stamps enables you to attach yourself to the past. Charlie was fond of collecting stamps and he got this hobby from his grandfather. Friends, what do you call a person who is fond of collecting stamps? The person who is fond of collecting stamps is known as a philatelist. Yes. So, Charlie was a philatelist. So, when this thing was told by his psychiatrist friend, Charlo, Charlie now stopped searching for the third level and he continued his other work and started paying attention to his stamps to distract himself. 
and philately is the hobby of collecting stamps and the person who collects stamps is known as a philatelist. Later on Charlie came to know that one of his friend was missing. His friend Sam disappeared and nobody knew where this friend has gone, where this friend has disappeared. So, Charlie later on when he was just going through his collection of the first day cover, he just found a letter from the friend Sam who had disappeared a few days back. Now, very important thing what do you mean by first day cover? I will just tell you first day cover whenever a new stamp is issued the stamp collectors that is this philatelist they buy this stamp and they affix it on a envelope. Leaf of paper usko chip ka dete hai. They write their own address on the envelope. The cover is the envelope is not sealed and a blank paper is kept inside the envelope and this philatelist they post this envelope to their own address and the postmark on the envelope proves the date. This is first day cover. So, friends yes, Charlie when he was going through this collection he came across a first day cover, but he was surprised that there was a letter in it the paper was not blank and this first day cover had reached the address of Charlie's grandfather at Galesburg, Illinois and the letter was dated 18th July 1894. So, remember these two dates 11th June 1894 Charlie had reached the third level and they discussed these things among his friends and one of the friends Sam went missing and the psychiatrist friend told him that you are an escapist you cannot cope up with this fast paced world this modern world you feel insecure and you want to seek shelter in the past. Ye dono ko yaad rakna. So, Sam he just saw this letter from Sam. Charlie opened this letter and he just read it and he just saw what was written. Sam had written that he always wanted to believe the idea of third level which was told by Charlie to Sam. Sam was a city boy and Charlie used to tell Sam about how those peaceful happy days he had spent with his grandfather at Galesburg, Illinois 1894 and Sam who was a city boy also wanted to have a peaceful life. So, now he had reached the third level and he just wrote that he always wanted to believe the idea of the third level and now he also added that he found the third level and he has reached Galesburg, Illinois 1894. He also wrote that the people over here are very friendly and he has been invited for a party and he continues that keep searching for third level Charlie this place is worth it. Come over here with Louisa and do not stop looking ever for this third level. So, this was what was mentioned by Sam a peaceful place in Galesburg. Next day at the coin store where Charlie had exchanged the currencies earlier he went over there and he came to know that his friend Sam who had disappeared had exchanged dollars worth 800 for the old currency one. And Charlie now realized that this friend of Sam must have started the hay, feed and the grain business. Jo ichha wo kaam karna chata tha, he must have started this hay, grain and feed business because this friend of his could not continue the work which he was doing over here in the present. Why he could not do the work which he was doing in the present? Because Sam was nobody else but the psychiatrist friend of Charlie. So, the one the psychiatrist who told Charlie that you are an escapist you want to take refuge into the past maybe he himself could not cope up with the stress of the modern world and he has reached Galesburg, Illinois of the past via the third level. So, friends this is all about this chapter. The author has left everything for the readers to decide that did Sam the psychiatrist really reach Galesburg, Illinois in the past. 
did charle reach the third level in june 1894 or so so this everything you have to decide and so so this is all from this chapter from my side enjoy learning and see you very soon with the next video tutorial till then bye bye and thank you all